Hi folks and welcome to this Index Game tutorial video where we're going to go through the uh, basic player screener report which is available to all free members of Index Game. So when you join Index Game via the website, uh, you will log into your members dashboard uh, just by going to indexgame.co.uk. There's a link in your welcome email um, and you'll see this dashboard and on this dashboard you'll find links to three free reports um, and the one we're going to go through here is a basic player screener which has had a bit of an upgrade since the previous version so if you just click on that it'll load up the basic player screener report now there's for anybody who's new to football index and doesn't understand PB um, or divs or yield you can click on this view metrics which will show you all of the metrics that we've got available in the suite of Index Game Buzz Pro reports, which are all available on the website. Now, as a free member, you only get access to the three uh, free reports as well as some tracker charts. Uh, if you're a premium member, you will get uh, access to all of our Opta um, reports, which are all available here and you can see the different types of analysis that you can do by player by position or even uh, study price trends so you can click on that and it will show you all the different uh, metrics that are available so the basic player screener report so when you scroll down and if you're you know this is ideal for somebody who's just joined uh, football index or has been trading for a few weeks or a month uh, and looking to build up their portfolio now that they're um, more aware of how the platform works and looking to invest a little further and looking to create a bit of a short list of players to invest in. Now the first thing to uh, make note of is the season filter up here. So we've got uh, last season's data, this season's data and then both combined. Uh, by default it loads the 2019 2020 season, the current season, and all games, which means all uh, games in European club competitions like the Champions League and Europa, as well as international games as well. Now, if you're a premium member, you have an additional filter which excludes international games because it can skew a player's data uh, quite widely when a particular player is playing San Marino on two occasions for example numbers will be inflated so it's just worth bearing in mind that the basic player screener includes international games too so what you see here is um, a list of players sorted by their football index rank which is typically by price so you can see the prices here and the darker the green the better the number uh, more red equals um, a poor number so you can see here Pogba has only played seven games this season and Trent has played 35 so the bigger the number the more games um, is, is better however you have to put them into context because Pogba has been injured so if you were to now sort by players who have uh, won the most match day or PB dividends this season and you can see I could sort now and see that Messi has won the most uh, match day or performance buzz PB dividends and that yield is on his based on his current price is 11% now if I sort by media divs and you can see Bruno Fernandes his January move to Man United and him uh, a whole load of media dividends so you can see he's the top media dividend player at the moment and if you now start to select for example I just want to view midfielders and forwards uh, up to let's say one pound fifty, and no one older than twenty five, and then they've got to play more than five games this season. Now, what happens here is I'm just going to put this back by price, and you can see here now that I've got a short list of players who match this criteria. And I could go through now and start sorting by either those that have won dividends or I can sort by those that have scored highly in a particular game. So you can see El Haddadi of Sevilla has scored 364. That's been his high score this season, which is very impressive. And it came in a Europa League game. So if you're looking at Europa League fixtures and potential buy-ins, you may decide to pick Haddadi or you can use these scores to kind of go right okay which players have the capability to score high um, 
and they're undervalued. So you got you can see here Paradis. Um, he's 25 years old. Based on this short list, 25 is actually old. So my max age is 25. So he's the upper limit of the age uh, age range. However, he's 83p, and his PB average is over 100, and he scored 265, and he's earned 16p in dividends. Uh, in match day dividends this season, and that yield is 20%. So this could be somebody they add into your short list and decide to watch the player, or join the Slack community and ask other traders what their opinions of parodies is for PSG. And likewise, you can still filter around and say, okay, uh, those that average over 100 and narrow this list even further. So now you can see this is a very small selection. I've lost my scrolly thing. So all my players that fit this, fit this criteria are all displayed in this one one screen here. And you can start playing around with some of these filters to draw up a bit of a short list if there's specific teams that you're looking to analyze or if there's particular players that you're looking to just compare. You can just pick and choose how you wish to use this report. Um, and that's essentially how to use the basic player screener. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you want to now start looking at uh, which of these players has had the most shots or has uh, passed the most or have the most number of ball recoveries or um, key passes, all of these stats are available in our uh, Buzz Pro Premium suite of reports. And you can upgrade uh, now using the code GAIN2020. That's G A I N. Uh, 2020 and you get five pounds off your first month when you upgrade to premium and you can upgrade using this link up here remember to use that discount code gain 2020 which will give you five pounds off your first month uh, when choosing the monthly uh, membership plan and as you can see here there's lots of different reports that you can analyze as part of the uh, premium suite of reports and you can have a look on our YouTube channel by clicking on this link up here, how to use those reports and what's actually contained in those reports. So do check that out uh, when you do have a few minutes to spare, but that's hopefully given you an insight into how to use the new basic player info report to analyze stats for just the 1920 season and to help build your portfolio going forward. Uh, when you log into the Index Game website, there is a link up here that uh, you can join our Slack community if you haven't done all already. There's also a link to our knowledge base area called Launchpad. And if you select this, and if there's anything that you're unsure of, how um, dividends work, for example, so if I just select dividends explained, you'll find articles that help you understand um, how dividends work, the deadlines and the payments, and all sorts of info around index gain, football index, or Slack, or any of the reports. So do check that out uh, when you have a little bit of a, uh, a time to have a read. And a best of our blog section here is worth promoting as well. Um, really good advice. These are blogs that have been uh, published by members of our trader community who offer their advice on our blog on how to buy how to value, how, what's the best time to sell, different questions to ask when you're buying a particular player. So do check that out. But thanks for watching this video. Hopefully that's been useful. Um, you can find all of these free reports on the Index Game website. So log in now. Thanks for watching.